Hi, welcome to the first tutorial of Chain Reaction. Uh, my name is Mike Can, creator of Chain Reaction, and this tutorial I'm going to give you an overview of the application, and we're going to create a simple particle effect. Okay, so first the application. Let me just zoom out so you can get a, a look at the whole thing. Okay, Chain Reaction is an application built for creating particle effects. Uh, it was written in Java and uses docking panels, as you can see. You can make things bigger and smaller. Um, there are several parts. There's the firstly, there's a flow designer, um, allows you to visually define your particle effect, uh, link them together, elements together, and create a particle effect. Um, you have the effects preview here, which shows you um, a real-time view of your particle effect as it's being created. We've got the elements properties panel down here, which we'll have a look a bit later, which allows you to specify um, your own custom properties and your effects. Down here on the second tab, we've got visual designer, which allows us to define visuals, events, sprites, things like that for our particle effect. Okay, so now I'm going to create a basic particle effect. Let me zoom back in. Okay, so to create our basic particle effect, we need to define some elements. Firstly, let's have an emitter. Emitters, obviously by name, they can emit other elements. So we'll have our emitter emitting particles for now. But emitters can also emit emitters, which can then emit emitters and so on. Um, to, but at the moment, as you can see, we've got these two elements here, but they're not actually doing anything. What we need for them to do something is for them to actually um, emit it to be linked to particles so they can emit each other. To do this, we right click on the title bar of the emitter and we can add several properties here. It's important to note that elements come with certain properties already pre built into them. So, for example, particles will automatically already have. A default value for gravity affected, for stretch velocity, for orient velocity, uh, for lifespan, things like that. Um, they're already pre built by default into them, but you can define them using the right click menu like that. So, But some things aren't, such as the emit element. So we'll add an emit element onto it, and there's a property. You click on the property, and you can go over to here and you can change the individual details of the property. We'll have a look at that in a second, but first let's link. Our element to our, our emitter to our particle. There's a little link icon there. We can just click on it, and we can click on the particle there. We can see it's linked, and we can see our particle effect being animated there. I think that's going a little bit too slowly, so we can go down to here and click on our element, and we can click and change it so it emits much more often. Yeah, we can see it emitting many more particles. We can also change the arc if we wish. So we can turn it around even, make it bigger, move up here a bit. Save it. We've kind of got this uh, waterfall effect going on here. Okay, 